Hey folks, and welcome to this video on absolute and relative references in Google Sheets. Knowing how to use absolute and relative references is a key skill to learn. Once you've learned it, moving formulas around or creating formulas and moving data around will be much, much easier. You won't need to keep copying and pasting stuff. You'll just be able to drag your formulas where you need them because you'll know where they'll end up. Let's dive in and take a look at how it's done. Okay, so I've got this table at the top here with some sales agents and their, the sales that they've made in the week, Monday to Saturday here. We're going to try and figure out the commission for each agent in this table here using an absolute and a relative reference. And then we'll dive in to see how it's done where we can just look at an overall commission using both absolute and absolute references so that we can pull data in a different way. So let's start here, taking this 10% commission and we want to multiply that by Jennifer's sales for Monday up here. And we can see that's 120 pounds, that's fine. But what we want to do is we want to drag this formula over to Saturday, and then we want to be able to drag it down as well without getting things messed up. So let me show you what happens without any references here. So you can see we get a whole pile of errors coming through here. If I drag it down, everything just looks wonky. So let's undo that. So what we need to do is we need to lock this particular column here. As we drag this cell across, we want, we're going to drag the formula all the way across here. We want the formula to be dragging across on this one. That's okay. But this one here, unless we lock it, this will also drag across as well, which we don't want. So we want to lock it to this column. So the way we do that is we just click on this part of the formula, which is this selected cell here. Using the F4 key on your keyboard, you can toggle the absolute reference for different parts of this formula or this reference. So if we click it once, we get the dollar sign in front of the B and in front of, in this case, row 14. So that's the column and the row. That would lock this cell entirely to this position. So it won't be able to move up or down or left or right. If we toggle again with the F4 key, the dollar sign just moves in front of the row. What that means is that we're locking just this row. If we were to drag this formula somewhere else, like up or down, it wouldn't move. It stays on, on row 14. And if we toggle one more time, the dollar sign goes in front of the column now. And so that's locking just to the column here. So if we move the formula left or right, the formula will, this formula, this cell will stay where it is. Everything else will move along happily. So this is exactly the one we want. And as I said, this one here, we're going to leave that one exactly as it is because we want this one to move as we move. So let's show you how that's done here. Hover your mouse over the little blue square here and drag that across. And you can see there that everything is working out correctly. So if we click on this one here, this one dragged across okay, and this one stayed where it was. And the great thing is now, if we highlight this whole row here and drag this down, everything works as expected. So looking down here, this one pulled down as we pulled the formula down. So that's in the correct place. This one pulled down because we only locked it to the column. So it's okay for it to move up and down in that column. It just can't go left or right. So everything worked exactly as we wanted to in that case. So that's using the absolute and relative reference. So now let's have a look at how you can combine them together. So if we hit equals here, now we're going to take this commission, which is just a set commission I've set here, and we're going to multiply that by the total for the whole day. Now in this particular case, we're going to do the same for this cell here. We want to lock the column. So let's click on that part of the formula F4 and we'll toggle through till we get the dollar sign in front of the column. Now this one here, we want to drag this formula across. So that's just as we did before, except now when we're done, we also want to drag this formula down to fill in these two overall commissions as well. Now, if we don't lock this, this formula will come down as we drag this formula down. So we need to lock this row here right now. So we're locking the column on this one, clicking on this part of the formula, toggle through till you get the dollar sign in front of the row. And now let's hit enter. Let's just cancel that. And if we hover our mouse over the little blue square again and drag that across, and then we drag it down. Now let's have a look in this one here. So you can see it's dragged across okay, but it didn't come down because we locked it just to that row, row 10. And this one stayed where it was because we locked it to column C. So if you can get your head around how that works, then you'll find that you'll be able to do these sort of things much, much faster by dragging formulas across your sheets like this. I hope you like that guys. If you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching folks.